boys, 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 behind this glass right here, I think there's like, there's like $10,000 worth of fragrances, honestly, like, ooh, look, ooh, cue the lights, what? This is my proud collection of fragrances. See, I am a fragrance head. I have become a fragrance head, and I've been collecting fragrances like crazy because I've always known that smelling good is important, and I've always told you that, but there's an art to this. There's levels to this. Today, I'm gonna show you my entire fragrance collection, and everything you see here, it's expensive, but it's worth every cent. The scents that you're gonna see here, you've probably never seen in your life. Let's hop into it. So first, let's start with the whole top section. I'm gonna go fast, because obviously we have a lot to cover. This entire top section, I call it my Creed section. And the reason I have a section just for Creed is because Creed is who popped my cherry. See, Creed is who got me down this rabbit hole of luxury perfume. Starting with the OG, what I call the Rolex of scents. And it's the Creed Aventus, this thing. It is like wearing money on your skin. I bought this about four years ago. You can see that. I'm only a fourth way done. And that's the beauty of high-end scents. You don't need to spray a lot. It's powerful. One or two sprays is more than good. And it's going to last you forever. So the whole top section is all Creed. So that one was the Creed Aventus. It's about 500. This is the Creed Aventus Cologne. Also 500. We also have Creed Himalaya. Ooh, man, this one. This scent is so sexy, bro. This, this is... I, I feel like this is more of a sporty scent to me. Love this one. About $500 too. Now we have the Creed Imperial. The bottle is just ridiculous. This little bottle, about $500. Super pricey. More of a going out fragrance. And then here, the Baller of Ballers. Believe this goes for six, seven hundred dollars something like that. This is the Royal Oud by Creed. It's a lot smaller. It's more concentrated. And it's also more expensive. Ooh. I, I'll just never, I can never betray Creed. Creed is who took me down this route. So that is just my top row of fragrances. But like I said, see, with these like higher end fragrances, the ouds or the parfums, they're more concentrated. In other words, how fragrances work is that part of it is alcohol. Even the high end fragrances have a portion of it alcohol and a portion of an oil. The oil is the expensive part. That's what you're paying the big bucks for. Well, what usual designer fragrances do is that they sell you EDTs or EDPs, which is Eau de Toilettes or Eau de Perfumes, that are less concentrated in oil, which is why they last less and you have to replace them more often. These are more concentrated. The oils are higher quality because most of them are made in France, which France is like the fragrance capital of the world. And therefore, yes, you pay more. However, since they're parfums or some of them are parfums, the percentage of oil can be 20% and above, and it's less alcohol, leaving you a fragrance that's more natural, smells completely different than the synthetic stuff that you'll smell from designer brands, and it lasts longer it, every single time. Which is exactly why this April 10th, we're coming out with this. this see, I did a whole section just for our brand, Santa Lucia. See, Santa Lucia is a project that... This is near and dear to my heart. We have been working on this project for over a year. See, our first fragrance was this, Assure. And by the way, we'll never sell this again. Whoever got a bottle of Assure, you guys have little gold in your hands. I don't even use this. This is completely full because I don't want to waste it. This to me is iconic. This was our first scent that when we created it, this is an EDP. We made it here in the USA and it, it smells amazing. It's a safe scent. It's sexy, it smells good, like you can never go wrong wearing this every single day. One thing I didn't like is that it just didn't last me as long as my Creed scent. I wanted that, but at a lower price. Because I want you guys to be able to experience what high-end feels like. So, for literally a year, we sourced and sourced and sourced till we landed in our new fragrance house. Guess where we're making our fragrances? France. The fragrance capital of the world. They're also collecting the best oils in the world. And here's where it gets better. Our Santa Lucia line, it's a parfum. That's right. It's over 20% concentration. The rest of it is alcohol. So we are competing at the level of these designer brands where these bottles go for five, six, seven. Matter of fact, this one right here, $800. But ours is gonna be crazy affordable. Like crazy affordable. And we're dropping April 10. So I want you to grab your phone right now, put a reminder on your phone, April 10th, 10 a.m. Eastern, because that is when our fragrance line is dropping, and like Assure, Assure sold out in two hours, and we never did it again. Now, if you guys want to get your hands on this stuff, you'll never be able to experience high-quality parfums like this 
at this price point. I can guarantee you that. Made in France, bro, forget about it. Most brands will charge you 700 bucks for this stuff. But I'm gonna get to the scents in a little bit. Let's keep going with the whole lineup. This is the Furgia, which I took you guys with me as I shopped this one. This is called the Spirit. It's in collaboration with Rolls Royce. $800, it's only three notes, highly concentrated. Which takes us to the next perfume that I have. This is a Celier by Byredo. Man, you can see that I barely use it, but I, I use this all the time, especially during the summer. But look at that, because that's the beauty of perfumes. I spray this twice, yo, I can smell myself, and I'm already going to bed. Like, I can still smell the scent eight hours later. I love perfumes. Which takes us on to my next concentrated scent. So my bad, so that was 800, the Cilier is uh, 350. Next up is my MFK Oud, super sweet. Man, this fragrance, it, it, I want you to go to Saks and smell this in person and tell me if you're not gonna buy it. Super sweet, bro, this is a chick magnet. The MFK Oud cost, I believe it was like 400, 450 something around there. I, I bought a lot of these years ago too, so I've been collecting over a while. Uh, this is the Tom Ford Effing Fabulous. I loved it at first. It's a sweet scent that women tend to actually rate really high. However, I think it's kind of played out now. I still love the scent. I just don't love when everybody wears that scent. Which takes us on to Byredo, Oud Immortal. This is about 350. Man, Byredo, they make crazy scents. It takes us up to the next fragrance house, which is probably one of my favorite ones. These are all my favorite ones, but Penhaligans. This is the Mr. Sam. This one, think Fifty Shades of Grey, like the, the guy with a lot of money and does whatever he wants, that's the scent. That one's about 350 This is our Penhaligans Halfetti. This is the first Penhaligans I tried. This is a scent that I've never seen one person tell me I don't smell good with this scent. It's like that scent that everybody likes, at least for me. Halfetti, 350 Let's go over the Santa Lucia fragrances. So, uh, one of the cool things with Santa Lucia is that we designed it in a way that every scent that I have here, I use it for different occasions, right? I wanted you to be able to have that without having to spend $10,000 on high-end fragrances. So we came out with three different scents for every aspect of your life, and we also added a little bit of science to it. So as you can see, when you buy all three bottles and you line it up on your countertop, it just looks super sexy in your bathroom, and it just says Santa Lucia. The first one's called Come Closer, which is our love scent. You want women to get closer to you. This one has rose, which for millennia, princesses and, and kings have used rose oils to attract women. I got inspired from that and from my grandfather. Believe it or not, uh, my grandfather, he kind of a dog. He, the, the, the dude was a player. I'm not going to lie. Like, he was a player. And one of his like go-to tactics that I learned about was that he would always wear women's fragrances because he wanted to attract them more. He said that they, they almost felt more comfortable with him and he also never got caught cheating with it. I know it kind of messed up, but that plus the other thing kind of inspired me for this where we added a really strong rose note, which as you've seen in videos, you know, we've been asking women, they love this scent. It's just so unique. It's not your Dior Sauvage that everybody wears. The next one is to conquering. This is the business scent. You don't have to be working in an office. This is more of a guy that's a boss everywhere. If you want a scent that intimidates men, like it's just powerful, it's to conquering. We also added a lot of notes of patchouli. Mint has been said that to help you focus and be able to like kind of stay on track more. So we added a lot of patchouli into this scent. It's a powerful scent. Any boardroom you enter, any room with a lot of men, you're going to be the alpha. And then the final one is our everyday. That is, like I said, our everyday. It's, it's a little bit fresher. You get to wear it every day for whatever it is that you do. The cool thing is that once you have all three, you collect all three, you'll notice it says, come closer to conquering every day. Genius branding. This stuff is gonna fly. Which takes us on to Killian. I love Killian aesthetic, bro. Angel's Share. This one was about 400, I think. This is a great smelling fragrance. This one's Intoxicated by Killian. This is, this is a beast. And like the name says, it's like, it's an acquired taste. Once you acquire the taste, you'll be hooked on Killian. So that one was about 350 as well. This is my Clive Christian. My wife bought me this one right here. This one was about Five, six hundred. It was a gift, but I think they go for about six hundred dollars. Then I got my Oud Wood by Tom Ford. I like this one because not a lot of people wear it. Not like effing fabulous, at least three fifty as well. Uh, I got my Aqua di Parma. This one goes for about three hundred. This is the Quercia. I can never pronounce this one. I don't use this one as much. It's probably my least favorite of the entire bunch. We have the Assure, which is my most valuable here, honestly. This one that I just picked up, the Lafayette Bond Number no. Nine. $600 I believe, 
incredible fragrance. And then finally, my Killian Phantom Ghost. They were sold out, so I ended up buying the trial set that comes with a bunch of extra like uh, sizes that I can replace inside. It ended up being like 250 for the trial set, so 250. Super sexy date night, think black tux type of scent. Boys, I wasn't lying to you. 10 grand in fragrances. These fragrances, if I promise you, these are scents that you've never smelled in your life. Add them to your rotation. You're not gonna smell like Buddha Chanel and Dior Sauvage anymore. That's what everybody else wears. I want you to wear something different. And I don't want you to spend a lot of money. So I want you to remember April 10th, 10 a.m. Eastern, our launch is happening and I want you there. That's it for me today. See you next time.